This past summer, I spent seven weeks throughout the coast of China working for Major League Baseball. MLB China is based out of Nanjing, and it's mainly a development center for Chinese prospects that want to play Major League Baseball. That's how they started. They wanted to find young talent all across China and hopefully nourish those kids and, and grow them into Major League prospects. That's expanded into different camps for younger kids, which are almost like scouting throughout the country, and that's what Asher and I went and did. We traveled all throughout, uh, mainly the coast of China, running these camps for younger children looking for potential athletes to send to the main development center in Nanjing. The best way I could describe these DCs would be they were kind of like English soccer academies, uh, except for baseball in China. Uh, they would send the best youth baseball players in China to these boarding schools where they would train, they would eat, they would live and go to school year round and hopefully train them to be the next generation of collegiate baseball players in China, professional baseball players in China, and hopefully in the future sign with professional MLB teams in America. So we went to the Great Wall, which was really awesome. We got the chance to walk along a an uninterrupted portion of the wall. A lot of it's been commercialized and redone, but this was basically an artifact. And then we also got to go to Hong Kong, which was sort of the opposite end of the spectrum. It was very cosmopolitan. It felt like New York City, basically. So I knew coming into last summer that I was probably not going to play summer ball. Uh, I was definitely interested in working. Uh, and at the time, I was thinking that my number one choice of profession would be either coaching or teaching. So I figured that taking this internship would, number one, be a great chance to go see the world. Uh, I'd never been outside of America before this, so to go see China and also kind of get closer to, I guess, my chosen profession, which was coaching at the time, uh, and go coach kids over there. One of the really cool things that I got the chance to do over there was go to Shenzhen, which is in southern China, and speak at a conference about Ivy League athletics, but more broadly, athletics in the U.S. and what it means to us and our culture. And I got to speak to about a thousand kids. It was very, it was very new to them. At the end, a lot of them came up and were just in awe about how our process worked and how our culture valued sports. It definitely gave me a different perspective on baseball. Uh, obviously my whole life uh, I've been playing and baseball has been really, really good to me. It's given me a lot of really great and wonderful things in my life. So to be able to kind of give some of those things back to the game and help some kids out uh, was really a good thing. It helped me, I guess, just be grateful for, for the game. You hear a lot about China and especially that year and that election cycle, you heard a ton about China. And once I saw this opportunity, it was something that I really couldn't pass up. I wanted to see it for myself. So when I went there, it really helped me as a person, but even as a baseball player, to see China's top prospects and the gear that they use and the facilities that they have, it's nice, but compared to what we have in the US, it really doesn't compare. So it humbled me. And when I have a bad day at the plate or have a bad game, it's a bit easier um, knowing how lucky that I am to be in the position that I'm in.